The overall goal of this methodology is to make microinjection of zebrafish larvae easier and more accurate. This method helps researchers using zebrafish model systems to immobilize zebrafish larvae in specific orientations in large arrays. The technique allows for easier access to specific tissues for microinjection and imaging, and is very effective when large numbers of larvae are required for applications like infection or xenograft cancer models. Microfabrication strategies and zebrafish models are highly complementary. One is man-made and simple, the other one is live and complex, but both share the same size scale, they are both transparent, and both enable observations at single cell resolution. As you show here, they can be easily combined, and they could have applications to the study of virtually any major disease. After preparing a PDMS block in a petri dish covered in a thin film of E3, according to the text protocol, use a transfer pipette to transfer the required number of embryos onto the surface of the PDMS block. Using a hair loop or similar tool, push the embryos into the microstructure divots, particularly for dorsal and ventral orientations. When loading larvae into the divots, it's important to have enough water covering the PDMS block to allow easy manipulation. It's also important to push them into the divots so that they remain in place during injection. To orient zebrafish on microstructured channels previously prepared according to the text protocol, use a transfer pipette to draw E3 off the patterned PDMS block. The level of E3 should drop below the edge of the block, but still be present in the reservoir.